Quick, graph y equals the sine of x minus 3 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need paper and a straight edge, or you can download this PDF, our tree graph paper. Press pause as, you, as needed any time during the video. Graph y equals the sine of x minus 3. The first way is with this, what we call the sine dance. Please recall what the graph of the sine looks like. And there are five key points of interest that I'll put circles on them. These key points are affected by the parameters in the equation, as all the points on the curve are affected. The only parameter is minus 3 outside the function, and so that minus 3 shifts all points down 3 units, so it affects the y coordinates. The initial point, a point of inflection, normally starts at the origin, 0, 0, but since we're shifting that down 3, it's going to be at 0, negative 3, so we'll plot that point. At the end of the first period, normally at 2 pi 0, but we're shifting that down 3 units to 2 pi negative 3. Halfway between those two points is another point of inflection, at, normally at pi 0. It shifted down 3 to pi negative 3. Halfway between those first two points of inflection is a max, normally at pi over 2, 1 but we're going to shift down to pi over 2, negative 2, down 3 rather, to pi over 2, negative 2. Plot that one. And then finally, the minimum at 3 pi over 2, negative 1 is going to go down 3 units to 3 pi over 2, negative 4. And so we'll plot that. Pause is needed. We need to connect the points as a sine wave. So the first three points will connect as a frown concave down curve. The next three will be concave up as a smile. This is one period of the sine wave. We can duplicate the wave in the negative direction. By doing that, we'll start with the initial point and go back the period, which is 2 pi. So it'll be at negative 2 pi comma negative 3. This point backs up also a period 2 pi to negative 3 pi over 2, negative 2. Pi negative 3 backs up to negative pi, negative 3. And 3 pi over 2, negative 3 backs up to pi, negative pi over 2, negative 3. Again, again, we connect the points as a sine wave, a frown or a concave down curve, and a smile and a concave up curve. Compare that to the parent function, and you can see that going from blue to green, we go down three, not at, geez, at these three points or four points, but at all the points. Pause is needed. The second way is going to be with a table. So please complete the table, pause to do so. These are the values you'd know are the ones on the axes. We need to create a second table for our graph. And we look that we're going to have to subtract 3 from each of the y coordinates, and that's the only thing we do. So that affects the y coordinates. The x coordinates are not affected, so we'll keep the x coordinates the same. So let's go ahead and subtract 3 from this y coordinate. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So we'll plot the ordered pair 0, negative 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So right pi over 2, down 2. 0 minus 3 again is negative 3, over pi, down 3. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So at 3 pi over 2, comma, negative 4. And 0 minus 3 is negative 3, 2 pi, negative 3. Connect the points as a sine wave. Concave down, then concave up. So this is one period of the sine wave. We'd like to plot another one to the left. And the way we do it is start with the uh, first point of inflection and go back a period, which is 2 pi. 
The max will go back a period, which is 2 pi to negative 3 pi over 2, comma, negative 2. At that point of inflection, we go back to negative pi, negative 3. This one goes back 2 pi, and then we connect the points as another sine wave. Concave down, then concave up. Comparing it to the parent function. Now you try one. Graph y equals the sine of x plus 1. Use either method or both for the practice. Pause is needed. Resume when you're finished. And you can see the answer is in green here, comparing it to the parent function in blue. Every single point is shifted up one because of this plus one outside the function.